no Look at this beast. <laughs> Spring fishing can be super unpredictable. Conditions change from day to day. Something as simple as a change in wind direction can offset spots that were productive the days prior. One of the hardest conditions out there to fish for pike are days that are dead calm, no wind and not a single cloud in the sky. Welcome to a very sunny, very calm and very warm spring fishing video. Today we will be chasing pike in Sweden. But as you can see, conditions are far from perfect. We have no wind and a lot of sunlight. So conditions are tough today. But today we're gonna show you how we find the pike, see how we can find decent activity. Um, we'll walk you through with our tactics, our bait choices, colors, anything that comes by. So without further ado, let's go. The bays are completely empty, so we are focusing on rocky edges like you can see over there. I'm using a Savage Gear River Roach. This is the 22 centimeter version. I have a 20 gram sinker on it, two trebles on the belly. A bit small to my liking, but it's the first thing that I could find. Usually I put like a 1.0 or a 2.0 underneath it. Jesper's using a Savage Eel. The reason we're using a bit heavy sinker is that we want to fish a bit fast. We want to try and find the active fish. Um, fish as much spots as we can, get that erratic movement, cast it on top of the rocks, let it drop down, fish it upwards, let it drop down in quite a fast pace. Um, we don't want to grind it down really, really slow. We want to find the active fish and that means we need to cover a lot of ground or a lot of water, whatever you want to call it. Uh, fish a lot of spots, move from one spot to the other, search where we can find the fish and see if we can find a pattern where they're hiding. Um, that's it for now. Let's go. Yeah, just casted it out on the rock. I let it just slide down, wait a little. Looks like a salt fish. Yes. Great. So cool when there's no wind at all and you can let a bait like this, like the river road just pass in the surface. Slowly letting it glide down, keep tension on the line, slowly really in that slack. And then this fish just came from, I think, two meters of water from a crack between the rocks, probably hiding in the shadows because waiting for a bait fish to come. I think this fish is close to 90 centimeters. You can still see the leeches and the other stuff on that fish itself. Let's get it back quickly. Great. 22 centimeter river roach, 20 gram jig head. Awesome fish, get it back.
Double. Fuck. That was a good fish. Jesper just caught one on a uh, on the savage eel. I decided to keep on casting with my river roach. I think it was the first cast after we uh, we released that previous fish. And then I just lifted it up on top of the rocks and then bang! Just like we predicted, they're not on the base, they're completely outside. And you need to find those rocky edges where those fish are on. And two fish, one spot. It's the best we had so far today. Um, unfortunately this fish didn't come in the boat but it felt like a heavy fish but it's a good indication that we're on the right path to finding more fish on similar spots like this so let's keep grinding uh, these spots and see what we can catch more Just grabbed a new river roach and I missed the fish on it straight away. And now this one completely smashed it. Great fun. Finally we found them, like we talked about. Super to have these fish so active now. Hopefully it will continue till the rest of the evening. Spring is known for its erratic fishing. You can have amazing days with clear blue skies like this. And you can have stormy days with no activity at all. Or the other way around. Conditions like these are usually quite hard. and. Today I'm going to tell you a couple of things that you can do, some tips, some tricks and some techniques on how you can improve your odds and try to turn a slow day into an amazing day. First tip that I'm going to give you is mix it up with your bait selection. Not the colors, I do think the colors make a difference but I think the movement of the bait, the presentation is way more important than the specific color that the bait has, if it's blue or purple or silver. I do believe that baits that have a flashy color like this silver savage eel or gold or uh, the motor oil version has some golden flakes in it, it reflects sunlight and that is something that can make a difference during a sunny day like this. When you fish with a tail bait like this and you don't get any action, it can be effective to switch to a bait with a, with a paddle tail or something that Savage Gear recently launched a pillstail roach. Changing the movement of the bait is something that can activate the fish. Tail bait, no action. Maybe switch to a pillstail like this or move to a jerk bait. If that doesn't work, you can always change to a crank bait or something different. Changing the presentation is often key to get the fish activity going and get the fish striking a lure. So, we talked about colors, we talked about the presentation, but also mixing up the depth. What I usually do is I try to start shallow and then work my way slowly towards the outside and towards the deep areas. For instance, we're now in a big bay, we try to fish in the bay, try a different approach with different baits. If we don't find the fish, then we move a bit more deeper, usually towards the edge of the deeper water. Try to fish them with a variety of lures, lures that go shallow, lures that go deep, lures that we can present really, really slow. Sometimes they need a lot of speed. Sometimes you don't want to give them any time to think about if the bait is real or if it's, if they want to take it or not. You just want to give them one short window to take it. And then you're trying to trigger that reaction strike that they see something, they need to take it, otherwise it's gone. That often can be a key as well to get a fish biting when it's really, really slow. Another thing you can do is focus on the different times of the day. We often notice that during calm and sunny days like this, fish activity happens in the morning and in the evening or afternoon. So if you have the option to do so, you could also focus on fishing in the peak hours, the moment when the fish are actually active. When the sun goes a bit more down, fish tend to go a bit more shallow, especially in these conditions. They Sometimes they like the sun and they want to stay right into the sunlight, but sometimes they hate it and go down and go to the deeper areas or try to stay in the shadows. It all depends on the water temperature and the current conditions. Um, so if you can, try fish in the evening, try fish in the dark. I've seen a lot of guys being really successful in the dark. That's also an option. Finally, my final and best tip, I guess, is just keep on fishing and stay faithful and that will eventually happen. If you don't know what to do anymore and you feel uncertain, switch back to the thing you know. Try to grab a bait which you're confident about, fish with that bait and just keep on fishing, keep going and eventually those fish will come.
last hour not that much activity we're gonna head out to one more spot which is somewhere around there so let's go I wasn't really paying attention because I was talking to Jesper and then this bike snatched my uh, my perch shit. Nice. <laughs> Needed to save my fingers. <laughs> Two. What a bonus fish. We drove all the way to this spot just to fish in the evening. We're fishing a bit deeper than we fished in the, uh, the entire day. We're fishing at like three to six meters. This fish came from the drop off. It was a really subtle take. She has been eating, she has some stuff in her belly. But she already spawned, judging by the size. I mean, she's not super fat, but she's feeding again. And she made a mistake of grabbing my perch at. Cool fish, final hour of daylight, super productive. Let's get her back. Talk about greedy. <laughs> it hit the bay like a meter in front of the boat. I was just letting it hang down, pausing it, and then well, you can see the results. She's fish number 11. So yeah, that shows a really slow day. And with this approach, you can actually turn a slow, sunny day that seems to be without any luck and any prospect of catching good fish. Ooh, don't wiggle like this. He's actually happy that he sees us. Um, yeah, like this, fishing in these conditions, it can be really difficult, but today we turn it around. We caught some beautiful fish. <laughs> this one wants to go back, so let's help her and unhook her. She isn't even hooked anymore, but... Come on. Yes. Flat calm, no wind at all anymore. Sun is going down, I mean, I think we have like 15 minutes left before the sun is completely under. So, perfect way to end the day. It started off really slow, but we managed, I guess, managed pretty well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. See you soon. Bye.